Hello and welcome to day 24 of my 365 days of crafting videos. Today I am going to show you how to make this cute little pouch clutch and it's really simple. It opens like this and you just put whatever inside. Easy to close, small enough to carry in your purse. So what yeah. you will need for this project is some contrasting fabric, one for the outside and one for the lining. You will need some lightweight, feasible interfacing. You will need a piece of elastic cord about four inches long, and you will need a button, a large button. I like to use a larger button. It gives it a little more impact. Um, you will need a chopstick. Push out the corners. You will need, optionally, a rotary cutter and a ruler and a mat to cut out your squares. You can always use scissors if you don't have a rotary cutter and a mat, and that is about all you need. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my fabric by ironing on the fusible interfacing to the outside, the fabric that I want to show on the outside of my pouch, and I'm going to go ahead and press that on both sides. So once I have that all pressed on, I'm going to go ahead and sew on my button, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it three inches from the bottom and the three inches is going to meet halfway to where the button is. So I've centered it, I've measured it and centered it, and I've measured it three inches up from the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and stitch that on. So I have secured my button here and I used a little contrasting embroidery floss to secure it and you can use regular thread just make sure it's really secure and then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to sew right sides together and we're going to sew the three edges around it. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that up and then I'll get ready to sew it. So once I have it all pinned I'm going to go ahead and sew a quarter inch seam allowance all around these three edges and then just please make sure you don't sew over the pins. Take the pins out as you come to them you could really do some damage to your sewing machine if you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that and then I'll be right back. So while you're at your sewing machine you might as well do the same with your lining. Go ahead and sew a quarter inch around the three edges and then when we come back we'll put it together. So once you have both of those sewn we're going to go ahead and clip the corners. The bottom two corners on each of them. And then once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and turn the outside with the button sewn on it. We're going to go ahead and turn that right side out. And you're going to use your chopstick to push out the corners. You can also use a knitting needle or a pencil or something that has a, a sharper corner. But make sure you don't push too hard. You don't want them to like point out. Just get them so they're nice and even. And then I'm going to go ahead and press that. So once I have that pressed out, I'm going to go ahead and slide this in. I haven't turned this one right side out yet. I'm going to go ahead and slide this in to the lining. Make sure you get it all the way down. So once you get it all the way in there, your right side should be together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of elastic. Okay, so then what I've done is I've marked the middle of my fabric to where I want the elastic to go. And you want to put this on the opposite side of the side of the button. So feel down there, the button's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this between the lining and the top. And then what I like to do, it's not necessary, you can pin it. Um, I like to just do a little basting stitch to secure it. You can always take this out, but to me it just secures it a little better and this elastic has a tendency to roll around a bit so it will make it more even. And you can always remove that stitch once you're done. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around leaving about two inches open. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that and then I'll be right back. 
So once you've sewn all the way around and left your opening, we're going to go ahead and turn that right side out. When you're sewing, make sure that your hole is big enough to pull your button through. That's pretty much the most important part of this because you don't want your button to get stuck. But if it does, you can just use a seam ripper and open it up a bit. So once you get it right side out, it's going to look like this. And then I'm going to take my chopstick again and push the corners out of the lining. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the lining in and make sure you get it all in there. So then you're going to line up your top here so that it's even like that and then go ahead and press that. So then once you get it all pressed out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch that opening closed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch an eighth of an inch all the way around the top. And then you're pretty much done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back and show you the finished product. So once you've sewn it around the edge, now you're ready to use your pouch. You can just put whatever you want in there. And what you do is you just fold it over. And you're just going to wrap that around the elastic. And there you have your cute, your cute, and you can use this for, you know, like if you're going to go out, you want a little bag to carry. Um, I have a friend that uses hers to put her Invisalign in. Um, you can use it to carry your medications in. There's a lot of things that you can use this that easily fits in your purse if you have a larger size purse. And there's just so many options for ways that you can use this. So I hope you've enjoyed day 24 of my 365 days of crafting videos. And happy crafting, and I will see you tomorrow.